Well, hundred. Well, yeah, but a hundred's uh, still a fumble uh, ninety-five uh, on up. So you're not. You're probably gonna uh, fail in there somewhere. Yeah. All right. Well, Kirby. Uh, I show him once I'm done with all this. I show him to the pipe. He takes you for a romantic walk through uh, the woods and such to. Uh, oh, uh, Kinley. Uh, despite despite his forgetting, give me a spot hidden roll at full because it's the kind of thing that would uh, interest Kinley. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, where is it? Spot hidden. Oh, right. Yep. Sorry. He he was trying to lead you away down a little dirt trail and you see this fucking zoltar machine over there to kind of give out fortune and shit but it's a full size in fact it could be a live guy in there for all you know yeah i do it it's bullshit okay fine all right um <laughs> hey, you guys go over there now he looks like this except he looks much more realistic it could be a live motherfucker in there for all you know. Although, you know, Freddy thinks it's bullshit. Press the button and have a look. Why do you think it's bullshit? I'll press the button and you'll see. That's where something amazing happens. <laughs> He's like, motherfucker, that didn't happen when I did it. All right, press the button. No problem. He kind of goes through some herky jerky motions and he pulls out like a his hand goes back and forth and pulls out like a business card and then drops it into a slot and it comes out on your side. Apparently you get one button press a day type thing. And it uh, says, if you need to get the point, sit on attack and it's not bullshit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> the expression on Freddy's face is one of those kind that people need as a screensaver. <laughs> what? Uh, you were saying? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, Are you broken? I, maybe. Give me a sandy roll, Freddy. You're broken inside. <laughs> I mean, it could just said that. No, I'm fine. Okay. You're like, eh. Hmm. Hmm. If you need the point, sit on attack. Don't worry about that, but it's about the end that you need to put on. No, I know, but still, you don't know what hidden clues there might be. I've got something about bullies, too, bullies. Blah, blah, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Clues of the universe become blah, blah, whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Anything else in the, uh... For the amusement park? Not really anything that you'd be too interested in. Uh, Mr. Zoltan, what is the secret of your power? I press the button. He does. He goes through the same herky jerky motions and such, and eventually a card is dropped and it comes out the slot saying that. Oh, it's a trash talking fucking Zoltan. That's brilliant. Well, that couldn't be for anybody. Huh. Yeah, me and your magic eight ball have been talking. He's right, you're a complete asshole. <laughs> Do you want to talk to my magic eight ball? I'll push the button again. Nothing happens. By the way, the guy's eyes do glow yellow whenever he gives out a fortune, which is really oh, creepy. Oh, you know. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that uh, will give kids fucking nightmares and shit. 
because back in the old days, they liked shit like that because kids. I was going to say, the Servitor of Yellow has really dropped. <laughs> He's now giving out fucking fortunes. Quite possibly, you're thinking, as you look at it. You're like, I didn't kill the Servitor of Yellow one fucking way. Yeah, it was Batman. I'm surprised he didn't say anything about that. If it is indeed him. Well, it was Batman, then it was me, and then. Um... Who knows when I relinquish the power? Hmm. I still think my the f scene that I got to see Doc Fulton die inside was when Batman was sitting on the top of the or in this boardroom, way the fuck up in the uh, thing with the big windows open behind him, and then Chris comes in. He's like, "We're gonna fight!" And the Batman's like, <sighs> and he just jumps out the window and flies away. And Chris is like, "Well, fuck me." <laughs> he, he, you can just tell he died a little inside from that. It's like, but I wanted the big fight. Now, now, now you're convicted of murdering all these other people. Um, <laughs> Henry, yeah. Do you want to kill the Zoltan? Do I want to kill the Zoltan? Why? Do you want to be the servitor of the other man? No. Oh. I, we, I don't believe we can anymore. I don't know. No, I think once you once you walked Patton or or and or Logris, that it, it basically stops you being able to be a vessel for the servitors. Oh, that's convenient. It's, well, that's, I know we lost the power when we became it. I think it. Or I think someone also said it it precluded us from doing that anymore. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it worked. All right, Mr. Zoltan, we'll be back for you later. We're not even sure. I mean, this could just have glowing yellow eyes. It doesn't mm, it's really bad. Hmm. But something's definitely fucked up about this all time. Yeah. Oh, actually, Logan, I go back around the back and I see if it's even plugged in. Uh, it doesn't appear to have any cords or anything, but give me a spot hidden roll since you're checking shit out. Checking shit out. By a half. On the side, it has a door, and the guy it's a full figure guy who seems to be sitting on a small bench, and it has a fucking door that is only openable unless you're like oh, Hulk Smash from the inside. Which is extra creepy, probably to like let some little kid find out about that so his parents can threaten him if he's not fucking good or something. Do you want to talk to Zoltan? I have a feeling it's not very conversational, but sure. He might be one fucking restaurant on fucking Dragon Mouse. Uh, he, 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 you're thinking that he, he, if there's awards given for like doing the statue thing, this guy is definitely winning. Yeah, but I, I've seen a lot of people in the streets doing stuff like that, and it looks amazing. I'm gonna knock on the door first. Yeah. He, 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 I, did he tell you that the door was there? Oh, he. Okay, no. no, he threatened his old town. That's all. Okay. Well, uh, how do you? Is there anyone else around? This is a oh yeah, this is me. There's a line starting to form while you guys are here, but they're oh, being right. polite. Yeah, this is a this is a popular thing. People come here, and you know. I drag him off to the side, and I should point out the door. It's yeah. it's awesome because when you say that, I envision you just grabbing him and just literally dragging him away, and there's not much he can fucking do about it. He's just like, I'll go with him, and <laughs> it's 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 like it's like a, a seven year old having a, a adult who just occasionally drags him somewhere else. It's like <laughs> it's kind of an inevitable thing. Do <laughs> It just seems, yeah, it seems like there's a guy, a guy in there who's just... All right, can I leave the door opening to you? Do you really want to do this in public, then? Well, we can wait until nighttime. It is nighttime. It is literally... Oh, wait, no, it was daytime when you guys came out. Yeah, you, you can wait. Or wait until it closes. Yeah. See if he gets out. Um, when it closes, some guys come with like, uh, the, the, it's a long fucking wait, by the way. Um, some guys come with the, uh, uh, two wheeled things and stick them on that. And then they go pack it into like, uh, a truck and stuff. 
you go with him. Yeah, you watch him getting packed away into a truck. The guys look at you warily like you might be trying to steal shit. And I'll just follow them in the car. They're not going that far. You, it would be super freaky to them if you were to drive the car from the parking area over to the employee's uh, storage area. Then it's oh, like, okay. not only are we going to steal shit, we're going to load it in this car <laughs> and then drive it away. <laughs> okay. So, and then they lose, right? Uh, well, they, they lock up everything first and then they... Yeah, uh, you're thinking that if there's somebody getting out of it and shit like that, that uh, uh, he's in a really bad spot unless he's got like a secret escape hatch in the back of this truck and stuff. Yeah. That's All right. Can we, let's, uh, do you want me to just pick boop, the lock? Boop, 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 says Old Henry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it. No problem. You, you guys wait for several more hours until it's about Three in the morning, there's one lone guard who wanders around with like a flashlight. I need a stealth at plus 30. If you fuck it up, he somehow managed to catch you. Although he makes enough noise, he sings to himself, he talks to himself, he has a flashlight. But who knows? Okay. You may get a double lot and go, here I am. And he goes, well, shit, I found somebody. <laughs> now I've got I'm a deal. Good. All right, yeah, you, you guys uh, approach and give me a simple pick lock roll as you hey. fail, fail, fail. It uh, is it. The lock is too fiendish for the likes of you. Uh, Kenley, this is a blah 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 kind of lock. Ooh, give Kenley, me a. Uh, oh yeah, all right, you did already. Right. Okay, he tells you all about the lock. Break it in such a way that you don't make too much noise. Break it, he says? Yeah. Oh, you're not going to just hand him the lock picks? Uh, I'm not saying I'm good at it, but you okay, know. Okay, I'll hand the lock picks. Yeah, you're at a plus yeah. five. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> and just looks at you, and you're like, I hate him so fucking much. So much. He could have just fucking farted and blown the lock off, but now he has to be good at this, too. You just... You hate him so much. So you like, need to get like one of those, <laughs> and you need to get one of these, mm -hmm. and then you can get one of these, mm -hmm. and you can pick it. Mm -hmm. That's a lot pick. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you have those? Because I sit here and practice with them every like every oh. day. Oh, nice. All right, that's all going. Because uh, Alex doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, but Matt does when it comes to picking locks. <laughs> of course he does. Mm. Uh, well, we that one, uh, yeah, side note, possible business venture, I might eventually one day take up locksmithing. Hmm. Yeah. So it, 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 it's uh, shitty hours, but uh, if you're getting called out after hours, then it's good money. money. Yeah, very good money. Uh, don't wait. It's England. Don't you have to uh, be part of a trade guild or some shit or no, do an apprenticeship? Funny, you know what? It's kind of crazy. There is a masters locksmith association over here, but it's not. Um, it, it's seen as the accredited thing, but it's not at a full accreditation. Anyone in England theoretically can call themselves a locksmith. There is absolutely no accreditation for it. Huh? What do you need to get started? But if you are uh, if you are trained via these MLA guys, you can put it down and it's very it's, yeah. it's good. You what know, do you need to get started price. though? Just some random to like tools and stuff and you know, whatever you need to different sets of lock picks and stuff like that. Go a key cutting machine maybe if you if you want to get into that side of it. Well uh, plus you're gonna probably be doing things like installing locks and stuff yeah. as well. So. Yeah exactly. Yeah. So just just a stock of that stuff. So not actually a lot. So, okay. Oh well, yeah, we go for it. I encourage you. Yeah. yeah, anything to get out the airport eventually. It's my kind of five to ten year plan. Yeah. Okay, well, I see night classes in your future then. No, uh, just um, just week long classes like we like they do like week um, like five day. Uh, oh, and then you're done. Five day um, class and you're there, done. There's a big, there's a one really big five day thing that kind of teaches you all the basics. Some people have done that and gone straight straight out into doing it for themselves but like starting low so i've kind of looked into it because the nice thing is if i can build it up enough i can eventually go like job share at work so i'm not doing as many hours at work but keep that job so it's got money coming in yeah and then take up other jobs doing that so yeah, that's the plan okay all right, all right cool 
do something for myself is better than working for air souls. Yep. Groovy. So, uh, right. Freddie then, after you drag him off, he drags you off, so to speak, and through a, a small path to show you. We lock pick the. Uh... Oh, sorry. I forgot about that. <laughs> That's what I just told you. <laughs> no problem. You guys uh, break into the truck, and uh, yeah, the Zoltan machine's in there, and wow, what a patient motherfucker this is. He's been in there for a good five, six hours and hasn't fucking moved. Button. Interesting. I pushed the button. It doesn't do shit. Uh, I open the side door. It doesn't, uh, unless you want to break it, it doesn't open from your side. Yeah, I'll break it. Oh, give me a... Uh, uh, Give me a strength that have to do it quietly or a strength that fold to go rah. Yeah, good way I see it, it's gonna fucking reset anyway. You can't not do that hop. Unless it was a hundred. You can never well, fucking I think tell. Say, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, he just kinda goes <laughs> and you just see the wood go, like, Oh Jesus God <laughs> All right. He <laughs> pops it open. <laughs> I don't, I don't look. Okay, okay, yeah, it, it appears to be a well, well constructed. Oh, wait, who's going to touch it? Freddy. All right. I, I poke him. You what? Poke him. With your hook? My hand. All right. My, My God, he, he feels a little bit squishy, but he doesn't move. This guy is disciplined. He is a master of his I craft. Check for a pulse. What? Check for a pulse. Uh, no, apparently he, he's uh, managed to slow down his respiratory systems and his blood and stuff to the point where, yeah, give me a first aid roll. What the fuck is going on? No, 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 no. Yeah, you, Freddie doesn't even know where the fucking pulse is anyway, so he, he's like, he, he goes like this and he goes, he has no pulse, and you're just looking at him going, that's right, Freddie, you're doing great. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I, I open his mouth. Does he have a tongue? Ah, uh, yes. I touch his tongue. Ah, uh, the right you go, and the teeth go. And you go ah ah. Give me a willpower times three roll not to go ah. <laughs> Apparently a spring or something, you know. Oh, and I feel that coming. <laughs> Freddy's going. Ee! Uh, all right it, it's not easy to fucking open but for you it, it's it's given a choice between opening or being ripped off so it opens did the tongue feel wet one point of damage uh wet no squishy yes apparently he's through deep meditation managed to stop his production of saliva <laughs> Uh, can we just check, like, what, what's, like, behind him, like, behind his clothes and stuff? Oh, like, yeah, it... it's, it's a, it, it may be some sort of, like, full mannequin, but it's a little bit squishy. You're not sure what material it's made out of uh, or anything like that. Could be some weird 1950s plastic you've never heard of. It could be fucking painted asbestos for all you know. I'm going to put my fucking glasses on and burn a charge. Oh, I thought you were going to stick your dick into it. No, no. Just fucking no, take no, him no. out. Not a mouth like that. <laughs> Not in his mouth. Uh, <laughs> Open the mouth. I, got, uh, I like the teeth. I don't call me iron cock for nothing. <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Willpower times three. Ah, burn charge. Ah, burn another charge. Come on, wreck the glasses. Oh. Uh, they're just a little Susan of something, but it's not rigor magic. Not rigor mm -hmm. High magic? Maybe high magic, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, want, I, want, I want to make sure the door is closed. Uh, know? right. The door is now closed to the, uh, like, semi-truck thing. You guys are in pitch darkness. I take my flashlight out. Somebody uh, shines a flashlight in your face, can uh, <laughs> Demons. Come on, we need to see. Alright, and then I begin casting the spell. 
He sings loudly. All right, you realize you are making quite a bit of noise. Uh. All right. Oh, also, there is a uh, clown car at the fair, just so you know. And it's brightly painted and stuff like that, and it has pictures of scary clowns and shit on it. Sounds life. Ah! Uh, not life as you know it, no. Okay. It's Definitely. Apparently, he's slowed down his life force to such a degree through his meditations. This guy is a master of meditation. Mm -hmm. All right. Freddy's going to fucking uh, twist off the guy's head soon to see if uh, he has uh, blood and shit. All right, well, I think we've pretty much... Well, are we... Um, what, is this a new day since we lost it? It's very, very late at night, and you're like, I wonder... No, and suddenly, you guys both wake up naked in separate beds in the... Um, uh, bed and breakfast. You're like, that's odd. Do I feel tired? No, no, really. You feel like, what the fuck? I go get my shit. It's in the wardrobe. I'm going to meet up with Henry. He's not in the wardrobe. <laughs> I'm going to knock on the door. <sighs> you guys <laughs> were up pretty late. Yeah. Hmm. So, you were there when we went into the truck, right, Henry? It wasn't a dream. No. Ah, okay. I thought you were going to be like, what truck? Yeah, hmm. that's perplexing. It is very perplexing. I'm perplexed. <clears throat> it seems that there's a hard cutoff point. When mm -hmm. everything just comes back. Resets. And resets. But that doesn't really explain why when we slept in the windmill, we didn't reappear in the bed and breakfast. Maybe when you sleep, you save your location. But then why did we go from Old West to 1950s? Hmm. Well, yeah, that's the thing that we we need to we need to test the old west if we sleep somewhere other than the best. Ah, <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Um, and so on. I just stay in my room. Well, right now you're in Kinley's room. Do you want to scurry back to your room? Kinley's room. Okay. You guys hang out in the room. Are you wanting to get close to the window at all? No. Oh. You continue uh, for about uh, an hour. You hear the horn and then it stops. Kinley. You can hear, sounds like light rainfall, and, oh, wait, it's Freddy, never mind. Oh, shit. He's a little sweaty. <laughs> this is very sweaty. He's super I, sweaty. I gently, like, just like you peek around the curtain from the window and look outside, but I don't open it, just, just keep. It would be so cool if this guy was, like, that fucking ninja where he's like, <laughs> and Freddy's like, ah, and just shits <laughs> No problem. I, yeah, it, you don't see any. You see people wandering around wishing each other happy Friday. No, Sam. I, I take my binoculars out. Have a proper look. <laughs> wow. He likes to watch. No problem. You don't see him around, but your point, your the amount of the town you can see from this window is very limited. You might do better if you're on top of the building near the edge. <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay. Okay, okay. Right, let's, uh... Let's, yeah. Let's, um... 
just put that to the left. Let's... And uh, carefully just get a car and we'll go back to the old left. Gotcha. That's the plan. That's the plan, anyway. Okay. Yeah. I still don't know what the pattern is, do you? Maybe it's every X days, but that, no, I don't know. That's some good shit. So. Uh, breakfast and car. Done. Done. Uh, let's, let me check and see here if the guy finally gets lucky and manages to ambush you. What? So. You guys uh, drive over to uh, uh, the area to leave the car out to make a uh, walk over to the hitching post? Or do you want to say, fuck it, and just drive through the woods and stuff? And... Okay. All right. Yeah, you guys wander over to the glowing hitching post. There it is. Okay, touch it. Touch that shit. You guys are, uh, the hitching post stops glowing. And we'll go get some horses. You guys uh, go back in the old west thing, and uh, you're past the uh, um, uh, Badger Saloon, or not Badger, sorry, Bobcat Saloon, and go over to the stables, pick up some horses. They charge to the bed and breakfast. Freddy falls off of his horse onto his head, and then gets kicked by the horse. Now, are you asking? Are you trying to get the same horse that gives yeah. you a small bonus? Would you like to make friends with it? I, I made my well already, so I'm fine, right? Do you have a 60 or better in animal handling horse? Plus 10, I do. Pardon? What's the plus 10 I do? No, no, uh, no. Also, will... animal handling horse, the horse doesn't fucking know you from anybody. That's why I said plus 10. Plus oh. Plus 20. Oh, I see. I uh, no, no. Uh, you still need to roll it because your skill sucks. You're just getting a bonus. All right. Well, let me try and make friends with it at least. I'm waiting for. So, Freddy goes over and like starts filleting the uh, horse, and the I horse know. does not seem into it. Doesn't let me either. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna do what I fucking tell you. <laughs> no problem. Right, you guys are riding your horses around. All right. So the only other place. We haven't checked in this zone is the amusement park. So we'll go there. Let's see if we see Zoltan. Old time. Old timey. You guys go over to where the amusement park should be. Uh, it's a partially cleared area. There's no park here. Oh. I take him to the water pipe. So was there nothing else in the area of no? Uh, no, um, the there is no pipe. There's no pipe. Okay. Okay. I believe that's everything. Uh, besides, where the hell would Mister Watts live? Because we, unless he's in the farm fields, that's where his house might be. Because they did say down south of the city, um, unless there's a gate there for some reason. What do you think, Kimberly? What, a gate where the Watts's live? Yeah. Well, we haven't been there yet, but it might be tough considering there's like loads of armed guards there. Well, we'll do, we're just travelers. We're not going there to like... You guys are dressed yeah. like freaks, just so you know. Yeah. What was that dress like? Chinese man. <laughs> uh, um, I don't think Kinley's gonna play play ball and dress like a cowboy. He's gonna dress like I'm in a robe. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, well, we don't even know where he is or where he lives. Well, he should he should still be back at the old thingy, right? At the saloon, yeah. But we, because you were the one who got the. Uh, directions to his house. I ran away. So what did the sheriff say to you? Uh, eh? <laughs> okay. None shall pass. It was a 
very stressful situation with you being chased and all that. I... For me, no. <laughs> Take a card, man. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie looks outraged and indignant. But you notice that Freddie does spend an awful lot of his time looking both outraged and indignant. Usually for good reason, to be honest, but you know. True that. Oh, let's go check the. So where are you going? Right. I got self pruning. Mm. Self what? Self pruning? Self yeah. What's that one do? So one of my skills over a hundred by ten percent. Ooh. But that's okay, I've got uh, do you want me to know that? No, because you know what? I'll just do um I'll do my alcohol tolerance. It's not a big deal. It's it's a massive amount anyway, so. You don't I'll, want me to do that. Sure, you don't want to do strength instead? Alcohol tolerance going from 118 to 108 is not a big deal to me. Okay. I've never put, I've never tried to level that up. It's just gone up. So. I was going to say, you, you definitely stay away from death because you uh, would lose a large chunk of your strength. Oh, I know. And, and everything. Oh, yeah. Card, so yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll go to the farms. So. All right. Uh, do you remember the name of the ranch? There are a couple uh, different ranches. Moo something. There's no so, Moo Ranch. Well, actually, there is a Moo Cow Ranch. Is that the one yeah. you want? Yeah. Okay. You guys go over to Moo Cow Ranch. Uh, um, it's a, a milking milking place. I'm gonna ask for directions and say, uh, "Sorry, we seem to be lost. We're looking for the Watts Ranch." Oh, you want the Watts Ranch, huh? Yeah, they owe us some money, and we're trying to. Well, good luck getting it. You're wanting the Bar T Ranch. He gives you directions to it. It's not difficult to find. Bar T Ranch. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, we'll go check it out. Not get too close. All right. Uh, yeah, they've got a lot of lot of guys here and shit, and they're going around with pistols. And plus, they got those big cases on their horses for rifles and shit. You know, it, it looks like the kind of place that you're pretty sure if you were to start some shit and make Kinley fight them all that he would eventually kill them. But he'd expend enough of his hero points and blame you for it that he would make your life a living hell. Yeah. So, would you like to initiate that? No. <laughs> oh. That's not. Okay, but... I'm a couple getting... of them keep an eye on you guys, even though you're at a distance, because, you know, rifles and shit. Yeah, I mean, the gate might be in there, we don't know. Right. Maybe like or something. It's the only place we haven't been inside of yet. Very Maybe. true. They don't look like they're particularly uh, uh, liking strangers there. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll make our way away after we check it out. And... Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. There's no water pipe, no amusement park, windmills in there. Um, yeah. Well, we've got the one last test to do, which is spending a night here um, somewhere that's... Yeah, let's go to main, that main street, get some camping supplies, and... Well, actually, wasn't the first time we were here, the first night we spent here, we spent at the inn, right? No, you spent it at the inn. <laughs> I, was... I woke up at the inn, yes. here at this time, not at the... At this time, yes. Yeah. Okay, but we're going to test to see if the inn is a, a, an anchor point. Yeah. But not sleeping in the inn, sleeping here and see where we wake up. Yes. Right. Uh, right, you guys do the, the camping and shit. Um, you know, one of the traditions of camping as a cowboy is that somebody should get a guitar and play some old doggy songs and shit and sing to, you know... Uh, Show me. Do they have roots for sale? No. Yeah. Do they have a harmonica for sale? Yes. 
I buy a harmonica. Excellent. That's perfect. You can play it and he can sing. Yeah, I can play a harmonica. For some reason, the singing cowboys was a thing. I think it was to keep the herds calm or some shit. I, I play my harmonica. Excellent. You guys are out hey. on that. He Come sucks. On. The one blood on the divorce. Yeah. <laughs> you suck too. It shows the, it shows some cattle stampeding away and shit. All right. And got two morning. You're both naked, in bed, separate beds, bed and breakfast. Both of you guys take a card for experimentation. Which bed and breakfast? Old West, of course. Uh... <laughs> so the windmill is special then. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. So, if you sleep in the windmill, you'll end up in 1950s. Bow, bow. <laughs> Look at Freddy calculating shit. He's like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and we did sleep in the windmill. Again, and we were still in the nineteen fifties. So maybe the window is how you're meant to get back if you don't have trumps or if you don't know how to use cleanse. Hmm. If you go into the trump, uh, if you go into the clems here, well, the clems here was closed, right? Yeah. Well, you guys were there after hours. Right. Okay. But if say you were here and you went into a Clems when it was open and you said Burlington 1950s, would it, it would take you to Burlington 1950s? Uh, if you, if you're in Burlington 1950s, he'll give you an error. If you say, oh, um, Burlington 2.0, if you're in old West Burlington and you say, take me to Burlington 2.0, I don't know what will happen. I think we'll end up in 1950s. But we can test that. Since we're here right now. Mm, just you curious. Wanna, you wanna do that? Sure. Sure. Okay, we're gonna do that little bit. Would you guys like to mosey over there? You are in the old west. Yeah. Just sure, why not? Okay. I Walk awkwardly. <laughs> is it mosey? Is mosey the same as a badass walk? No, badass walk is totally different than the mosey. That's what I had. I remember in one campaign, everybody had mosey and they all made it at once and shit. And it's like, their cowboys were very impressed. I mean, if you want a badass walk, you can. Freddy's walking like he's trying to shake a turd out of his pants. Yeah, I'm not really a mosey. I'll just badass walk over. I mean, you can learn. Yeah, no, I, I would rather try and build up my badass walk. Okay. Which I can't do anyway. So I was never sure. All right, people kind of looking at you guys like, howdy. Um, you guys head over. Uh, Clem. He looks like he's right in place in the Old West, too, with the fucking mutton chops and the bald head. And he goes, Howdy, what can I do you for? Hot town and shade, please. Where are you going back to? Burlington 2.0. Him as well? Yes. Uh, he gets a hot towel and he says, Warning, odd power buildup occurring in Old Burlington. Warning, entire zone is completely underwater. Be advised, hazardous environment. Warning, power buildup may interfere with, damage, or destroy barbershop functions. Would you like to go there now? Yes? No. No. He puts hot towels on your faces. And he takes them off again. You are in Burlington 1950s. Okay. Good. Well, that's all would happen. Now, the question is, if we say Burlington 18. Yeah, we, we tried that, it didn't do anything. Right? No, we, we've established that the only way to get there is by the hitcher post. Or Trump's or Shadow Walk or whatever. Yeah, Clem will always take you to this Burlington. But you can try it, you want, maybe we put it up. No, no, right, right. It's interesting that, you know, um, 
Addy, what can I do you for? Uh, we'll go out and get a car again. Hmm, this one looks nice. Ah, oh, same cars over there. <laughs> what? Oh, just like that, you did, honey. <laughs> All right, well, um, let me see. Uh, we got no gates. I mean, there might not be any gates from there. might the... not. There might, maybe, maybe as you said with the uh, dock, the harbor, maybe they haven't been built yet. Maybe it's a work in progress. Mm. Unless it's as we, as I said, it's in the farms in the Old West, where Mr. Watts is. That will be in the way. Um, yeah. So I've pretty much shown you everything. That's good. That's, I mean, is there any other um... oh, Okay, actually, you know what? Let's get straight into the car. Let's drive straight to the hitching post and get back to the 1850s. Okay. Cut to the 1850s. You guys mosey on into town and uh, get some horses and whatnot, and they oh, don't good. fucking like you again. What? I'll get some cowboy outfits. All right. Are both of you in cowboy outfits or just the one? I don't know about him. Just... Yeah. He likes his fucking black robes that draw attention like nobody's business. Which and like me. Okay, I don't like me then. The horse tries to step on your foot. Ride. Uh, he, his horse goes... <laughs> right, okay. Kinley, you catch his horse because it's running off, and the stable hand's like, huh, must have not taken a shine to that fella. And he goes back and says, you manage to catch his horse and forcibly lead it to where you're wanting to go. Pretty much, if you let go of his horse, it will run off with him still on it. For no. whatever reason. <laughs> With you holding on to the lead, it has no choice but to follow. Even if it's not walking, it will still fucking have to follow you. <laughs> All right. Your horse right. may not be strong enough to drag him, but you are. <coughs> so should, do, we, do we want to just kind of just uh, finish off the farms? Like, just kind of a little, see what's about with them for this zone? Uh, what do you mean specifically? Well, just... <laughs> all right, go and see what it's all about. See what's there. See if there's anything that sticks out. Oh, uh, we did that, didn't we? Where are we? What the farms? That's where we were when we. No, we no, you to... went to the ranches. Yeah. What? That was in the. That's in the farm. farming area. Yeah. The farms themselves. You didn't go into everybody's house and go, "Hi, we're here to bugger your wife and stuff." You didn't do any of that. But the farms themselves look like normal farmhouses and people working the fields, that kind of thing. Yeah. But uh, you are very suspicious of the Bar T Ranch, especially since there's so many people with so many guns trying to keep you so far away. Super suspicious. We could go as Bible salesmen. <laughs> Well, that's what they love. They love that, right? Uh, well, aside from there not being any religion here and you looking like you the anti-Bible salesman, aside from that, I love the idea. Take a card for it. It's funny. But um, we're going to have to leave any further investigation for another time as we're about out of time. Yeah, I mean, we pretty much checked everything. There, there is a few things if you want to look at them. Uh, I can show you them real quick. You might like some of them, but I don't know. Um, yeah, Logan, we'll go back to um, go back to Clems, go back to nineteen fifties, get a car, and I'll drive him over to the water pipe in nineteen fifties. No I'll problem. You go show him that real quick. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Look at this pipe, he says. And you're like, we came all the way here. For... You begin beating him. <laughs> um, uh, that would be fucking funny as well. Wait a minute. Did I fucking I miss it? Clear. We did 
There it is. Literally everything, right? Like all the different locations. Are you There's asking nothing. me? Yes. I'm not telling you shit. Uh, here's the pipe, Matt. It's uh, middle bottom. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, have, you, have you gone in there? Yes. Uh, <laughs> come on. Huh? Yeah, it, it's fine. Just go in. What do you mean, fine? <laughs> it's fine. Go in, really. <laughs> oh, you have, I know one thing you haven't taken them to. What? The sandwich me? Oh, well, you haven't taken them there either, but that's not nearly as interesting as the other thing I was thinking of. It's got a stream near it. Oh, no, we're not going there. Oh, I think that'd be funny for him. Just send him in there and go, there you go, buddy. <laughs> We've already been there enough, I think. <laughs> yeah, but it's the gift that keeps on giving. Plus, you, you've not gotten to see what Kinley would do in that situation. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, uh, would you like to go into the terribly dark uh, uh, pipe there, Kinley? I pull up my flashlight. Okay. Uh, sorry, I missed what you said, Matt. Okay. You go in. Uh, essentially, you end up finding some old porno mags of the most banal nature, uh, like ooh la la type porno mags, you know, like super soft core. But they are crunchy. Mm. Yeah. Fucking kids. Yeah. So why are you showing me this? <laughs> That's a good question. I, I thought maybe you'd find it interesting. I think it's an elaborate seduction myself, but yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe we missed something when we were here. Yeah. Yeah. He just drops one of the porno mags and it almost shatters. He's like. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the only other thing is a cemetery and a cave with a bear inside of it. Okay. So that that's literally it for this Burlington. Let's go to I like cemeteries. <laughs> I take them to the cemeteries. No problem. When you guys are uh, approaching the cemetery back from Main Street, you're. Eh, the sound of impending doom. Okay, we go and hide in the cemetery. Cool. That, that guy tries for his fucking luck roll again. <laughs> yes, never mind. <laughs> shows him wandering in totally the wrong direction. Okay, here's what the cemetery looks like. Same sheet at the top, Matt. It's a little bit foggy and a lot twisted in there. Yeah. Looks spooky as shit. One of the graves has the words "bad wolf" badly painted on it. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> He's like, "Yep." Uh, the gravestone itself said, "I told you I was sick." Oh, no. <laughs> you didn't fucking listen. All right. Uh, voila, cemetery. Nothing else you found here? Oh, well, at least you want to dig up the grave. No, it's a bit extreme. I mean, we well, did that, do that, though. The bad wolf one is obviously a bit. Well, I mm. get a message, you know? it's just a message like the other ones. Uh, yeah. It gives you a pretty good idea of Burlington, aside from the cave with the bear in it, which I really did think you were going to. Meanwhile, it shows the, the other guy, <laughs> shows the bear, rawr, rawr, fucking bear. Anyway, um, <laughs> with his fucking pummeled luck roll, he ends up fighting the bear. Um, so, who knows? Uh, you're fantasizing about it. Anyway. So that ends your exploration session. I'd say you've gotten a pretty good handle on uh, those two Burlingtons. Yeah. Don't know where the third one is, but maybe we'll Oh, you know. You know yeah. that you know. You just don't want to know that you know, you know? Yeah. Right. 
But yeah, I, I think you did rather well in quickly pinpointing. It's just you don't want to know. So that's okay too. I'm not going to tell you you have to know. We're going to have some other time. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it's obviously too long for right now. But. And we found some new stuff out, which was. Mm. You totally did. Um, hold on a second. Now, think of names for this session. Hmm. Oh, I'm thinking of a couple, but they're probably not suitable for uh, YouTube. Hey. <laughs> Putting in my suggestions too. Um, it's for cards. You can do it. Uh, <laughs> Although this has become out too racist for it, but I was thinking of the horse and the Chinaman. That, that, that I can see some fucking problems right away there. Uh, the horse and the Asian. Pardon? The horse and the Asian. Mm -hmm. Horse mustache. Horse mustache. Horse mustache. There you go. <laughs> That's a good one. That's it. That's a good one. Cool. The only, the only I like that Baird one I came up with, which was Lynch, Freddy, and T Rex. I left out sexual. Uh, no, that that's the one. Horse mustache. That's perfect. Uh, You'll get a card for coming up with. Yes. Okay. And uh, before uh, before you get into card play, does anybody have anything to say to the? Billions of fans watching here and uh, from different solar systems. Billions. Thanks for watching, as always. Ready? Bye. Um, bye. <laughs>